I'd make the provocation that, that technology is quite neutral. It's the application that's political. So mm. Again, as an historian, one is aware of the way in which technologies embody certain understandings of the world. People want to stay home. And VR is very much this experience that comes out of like the, the social media experience, which is it's eye centric. It's about me having my own emotional sort of psychological experience in this closed off headspace. Life is a virtual reality. Mm. Some sort of merger between representation and lived experience. It's that aspect of like presence that's not, yep. that doesn't translate across. And so like when you put the headset on, and then you have that sort of feedback from your, from your muscles going, okay, I'm turning my head and I'm getting that, that, that scent, the environment moves with me. That's, that creates this sort of illusion of, of presence, of being in the space that is really what we're trying to get at. And if anything, it's kind of great because you can now visit worlds where which are impossible to visit in the real world, which pretty much you can do with almost any VR thing anyway. But now you can visit worlds where the entire aesthetics of reality is different, which is kind of yeah. interesting. So that by the end of the day, you could say it is not that the virtual environment is not an enrichment of the reality, but maybe the other way around, that reality becomes an enrichment of the virtual experience. Mm -hmm.